figures in the store that got a bag. You can't blame me, the shit you doing, it got me bragging. When I touch your head, when you get it done, you turn it. Okay, you guys, so I am back. Please ignore the sounds outside. Someone is, I guess, doing yard work. So, to get into this look, though, like, I really had to tweak this style, you guys, because, it's like, I did the big curls. After I did the big curls, I, like, put my hair to the front, brushed that all the way down, and then it was, like, big. So, after that, I was like, you know what? Let me just do me a... Little size swoop because I just feel like baby, this look is giving like, and this is me. Like, I can mean, like the eyelashes are a little bit dramatic, but they're like work the look like child like look at me I like this view better Okay, you guys, it's your girl Yad Monroe, and I am back here with another video for you all. As you all can tell by the title of the video, I'm just basically going to be reconstructing this old wig that I had in mind right back to life. Of course, you all will see in the video so far, you all will have to bear with me because, child, I had to make this wig work, and my battery is about to die, so let me hurry up. Okay, so let me tell you all about this here. I cut this hair, as you are going to see in the video. I was cutting it a lot. It was longer than this. So, I cut it to my liking. Did a little scoop, a little side bang. And that was it. Brought me a little bit baby hairs. But if you all would like to see this final look, final results, just get into it. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe because you're already here. Comment, like, subscribe. And I will see you all inside my next video. Yeah, putting it back on and installing it. I got this wig from well, it's in the color 99J. I got it off of Amazon, so I had it for a, a while now. I just snatched it out the bag and said, I feel like being red today. So, if you all would like to see this look, then. You all will see this flawless look I just achieved and get into this video like and as y'all can see I am going to be doing an old method that I used to do. I know most people what they will do is glue and spray down their cap first but I used to do that not saying that I have an issue with doing that but I'm being lazy today so I'm just going to be doing the lazy method so the only thing I will be doing is using my ghost bun and I'm going to be using like two layers of this and I'm going to be going around the perimeter of my hair and as you all can see this is my baby hair that's left out so I'm going to try and cover that up as well so hopefully I can cover up as much as possible. But I'm mainly going to be put, focusing on most of the glue around the perimeter and not just the edges because with my, with my ebon, I think that's how you said, but with this spray I'm going to just lock in my edges and go around the perimeter with the glue. I have more of my edges on the side, they have grown out. So I'm just going to stop talking and get into the video and I will be showing you all what I will be using so let's get into it. 